Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys my lipstick tower. This tower does not hold all of my lipstick, like lipstick and liquid lipstick products or anything like that, but um, just wanted to show you guys my lipstick tower because I absolutely love this thing and um, it is such a good space saver. So just wanted to show you guys. By the way, if you guys are curious about the makeup, I will leave that link down below. And while you're checking out that video, you might as well subscribe. If I sound weird in this video, it's because I'm a little under the weather right now, so sorry in advance. Anyways, back to the lipstick tower. Um, this lipstick tower is from Lady Moss, and... I'm not sure, I'll leave the price of it here, but this is like the pretty, I don't know, pretty big one from Lady Moss. I got this, oh geez, like three years ago? I don't know. It is kind of expensive, but this one seemed to be like the one that holds the most and like the best, best bang for your buck, I guess. Um, Cause I did also get it on sale. I believe I bought it during the Black Friday sale. I think it was, I think it was then. Oh my gosh. Anyways, but I kind of wanted to do just a little, you know, show and tell, I guess, to show you my little lipstick tower collection. This definitely does not hold all of my lip products. I do have like little drawers for my other liquid lipsticks and stuff and glosses and all of that, but this is uh, this does have some liquid lipsticks, but only the ones that could actually fit in the slots. Um, the decoration that you see, like the, all the little gemstones and stuff, um, I added that. This was just like plain white and I wanted uh, a little sparkle, <laughs> so I added like, I think these are scrapbook decorations or scrapbook stickers. So yeah, that's why it looks so like blingy is because I had like extra and I just put it all on there. Okay, this is such a weird angle. <laughs> this is super weird, but okay. This is the best I could do, I'm sorry. But yes, as you can see, there are eight sections and each section holds 12 lip products. So I have all of my Milani. These are all liquid lipsticks. Um, and then all of my, let's see, what was below that? Oh, these are all wet and wild. Um, I'm missing one. <laughs> these are Milani and then NYX. And then I also have like a random like Burt's Bees down there. Anything that'll fit and that doesn't jut out too far, uh, I put in this. <laughs> and these are my Maybelline matte lipsticks, my favorite absolute favorite from the drugstore. These and Wet n Wild, but these are just amazing. If you haven't tried these, they're so good. So amazing. And then down here is super random. I mean, it has a Maybelline, but it has like also Rimmel and NYX and all of that. And then I have my like higher end <laughs> products here. Um, let's see, I have the NARS Chubby Sticks and the Stila Stay All Day, Anastasia, Buxom, this is actually a lip gloss, um, du Duchi, du Duce, <laughs> and all down here is Ofra, and these, these are so old, uh, I can't remember... I don't know, I was really little, but I just keep it for sentimental reasons. But yeah, this is so old. Oh my gosh. But these were like mood lipsticks and like they'd be blue. Oh gosh, wow, that's an ugly. Okay. <laughs> They're like if this one's blue, it would change according to your mood. And then like when you swatch it, it's like a different color. I don't know. It was so cool. And these like permanently stain your lips. <laughs> They're so hard to get off. But I it, I don't know what brand it is or anything. It just says made in Taiwan. 
have no idea. It has like these little Hawaiian girls on there. Yeah, this used to be like a lime green and faded. Like you, it's old, it's really old, but I don't know, I can't seem to get rid of it. <laughs> all of these on the top are like the mini versions of all the lipsticks, like those little sampler sizes. Like this is like a Marc Jacobs one. Look, it's so cute. But uh, I put all of the mini ones up here because they kind of get stuck in the slot and it's hard to get them out. Oh, uh, and I have my Huda Beauty lip strobe and liquid lipstick in here now. It's just like a mix. Um, I just, this is like my favorite way to store lipsticks. When I get more lipsticks, I will re remove like the liquid lipsticks and replace them with actual lipsticks because the real lipsticks fit in these slots like perfectly because I mean, they were meant for actual lipsticks, you know? But that's also why I like to get like mini versions of lip products because they fit so perfectly in, <laughs> in my little tower. Y'all should definitely check it out. I mean, obviously this video is not sponsored or anything, but <clears throat> this has been really helpful for me. So if I could, you know, help you guys out, if you're wondering how to store your lipsticks, then I would highly suggest a lipstick tower because they're pretty and they kind of display all of your lipsticks. And it's really easy to just find what you're looking for. Um, I have it categorized by brand, but I mean, you could always categorize by color. Or if you guys want to see my other lip products that I have, then, um, you know, let me know. And I will show you that. This is half of my lipstick collection. I have to start clearing out some of these lipsticks though, because I don't get to use all of them, you know? So I usually will just let my sister come in and choose whatever she wants lucky her right <laughs> uh, this liquid lipstick is the liquid catsuit mega last liquid catsuit from uh wet and wild but look at this it's broken uh, you're supposed to be able to unscrew the top like here you know to have the wand come out but like the glass part it just like it didn't stick I'm, I'm probably gonna get rid of this. This one in adorable. This one's really pretty nude, but it's like almost identical to the Stila Stay All Day lipstick in Bachi. Almost. It's like a little bit of difference. I kind of like the Milani one. I'm gonna get, a, get rid of the Bachi one. And then, like I said, the Melted Queen Bee liquid lipstick. I'm gonna get rid of that too. This is like turning into a declutter. What What is happening? <laughs> this is also from Essence. It's a lip gloss or liquid lipstick, I'm not sure. But I never wear this. I'm gonna get rid of this too. My first ever lipstick though that I ever bought myself. Um, I think I was like 22, 23. And it was this. NYC Mahogany, <laughs> this lipstick right here. Look at it, it's like melted <laughs> and broken, but it's such a pretty color and it was like 97 cents, so I, I didn't have to feel like too guilty about it, about buying this, but oh my gosh. Oh, it's like, look at this. What, what just happened? It literally just melted. But oh yeah, that's old, that's old. I'm gonna get rid of this too. This was like one of my first lipsticks ever, like ever, um, but it was a gift um, from my mom. And this was the Estee Lauder lipstick in Sunstone. And this is literally the only lipstick I ever wore. Like, look at this. <laughs> I tried to keep its shape as much as possible, but <laughs> it's so pretty though. I don't know how old this is. But it has like a little shimmer to it and oh, wow I've, I've worn it so many times for like so many occasions oh this birch bees one i'm not a fan um it's supposed to be like moisturizing for the lips and stuff but no i don't like it 
I don't think it's very moisturizing. And I think the color, this is in Blush Basin. Blush Basin? Yeah. I don't know. I like the packaging and all that, but the color just did not suit me. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is from NYC as well. And it's called Violet Shine, which I don't get. I mean, this is clearly pink, not violet, but this was a really good uh, lipstick as well. But it's like really old. These age really quick, I've noticed. Ugh. This Manicadar Lip Satin. Oh, Priming Gloss Stain. See, I'd never wear this. It's pretty, but I just, I never wear it. I'm going to get rid of this too. I don't know, people hate the scent of the L'Oreal lipsticks, but I... I love the scent of the L'Oreal lipsticks because it reminds me of something in my childhood that I cannot remember. <sighs> I can't remember at all, but it just, I don't know, it instantly takes me back to my childhood. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe like my mom used to have like a L'Oreal lipstick. I can't remember. I have no idea, but it just, it literally just brings me back. That's that's the reason why I like the, the scent, but it's not like as horrible as some people you know, say, like my sister, she hates the scent, but I like it. This is another one that's really pretty, this NYX uh, Butter Lipstick in Hunk. It's really pretty, but I just never wear it. I'm gonna say goodbye to that. This one, same thing, I mean, this one's really, really pretty, but it's so patchy when I wore it. I think that's all I wanna get rid of, because <laughs> it's become a lot. <laughs> I li well, a lot to me at least. Get getting rid of oh, geez. this many, like two handfuls. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got rid of ten lipsticks. This is not supposed to be a declutter. I don't know what just happened, but <laughs> anyways, ah, uh, the main purpose was to show you guys my lipstick tower, which I did. So. Anyways, I will leave the link for Lady Moss down below for you guys. All right, guys, so that's it for this lipstick tower tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.